What is a really weird fact that makes people say why? Do you know that? Coca-Cola can help with blood stains. It makes the blood stain much tastier. Octopuses are usually very antisocial, but when they are under the influence of ecstasy they are more willing to spend time around each other or even hug other octopuses. Did we find that out by giving them me? Yes. Our science. The only difference between science and screwing around is writing it down. When you are starving and have little body fat left, your body can grow almost fur-like hair to insulate itself in absence of fat. Is there some way to starve the top of my head? Keep reading Reddit posts. This was an excellent exchange. Your body's normal functions can slow down to accommodate organ disease. For example, I have 40% lung function, but my O2 is completely normal at 98% saturation. They didn't discover any lung disease until I had a court scan done for other reasons and my lungs happened to show up and that can confirm. I had kidney failure a few years ago and their function reduced so slowly I was back quote normal and not on dialysis with 8% renal function on the day of the transplant. The human body is amazing. I only have one kidney that functions at 85% normal kidneys. When you have two, each function at 50%. Cheetahs are so genetically similar that supposedly you can draw blood from one and inject it straight into another one without any health issues in the receiving animal. I. E. No blood type or clotting factor variations. This is due to genetic bottleneck and means cheetahs will not likely survive extinction very much longer. During the last ice age the cheetah population dropped down to under 100. Because of this when one cheetah gets a virus is it very easy for the virus to infect other cheetahs this works with humans too if your brother sneezes on you the virus has a much better chance of taking hold in your body than if someone from a different ethnic group sneezes on you. So why don't governments separate those of the same ethnicity to reduce the spread of diseases slash s. Guinea pigs average pooping around 100 times a day. They can't even take 5 steps without dropping at least one third. Middle school science teacher kept a chinchilla in a cage in her room. One day it got out, and we found it by just following the trail of poop. Side note, chinchillas are so fluffy soft and adorable. If provided with a mirror, dolphins will admire their own genitals. Of course those fuckers would. I see you know that other fact about dolphins too. They are the perverts of the sea. They are the rapists of the sea. There is a chemical called MPTP that specifically destroys dopaminergic neurons in the brain. About 3 days after someone ingests it, they get Parkinson's disease. How? How did scientists find that out? It's a byproduct of synthetic drugs. Some young people showed symptoms of Parkinson's out of the blue a few decades ago and that's how they found out about it. The drug has been very instrumental in learning the causes of Parkinson's. Oh thank god it was an accident, and they didn't purposefully cause Parkinson's. Technically, they found out about it after a chemistry grad self-injected himself in Merrill and he intended to synthesize an opioid. And MPTP was a major impurity. The song Total Eclipse of the Heart was originally written for a musical featuring vampire romance. That musical never saw the light of day, but the song was tweaked for recording, and wound up being a big hit for Bonnie Tyler. It feels like a weird fact to know for some reason that musical never saw the light of day underrated vampire musical joke. Die. Die die. I can't. In Phoenix, Arizona, you are legally allowed to bury a dead body on your property without asking for permission slash getting a permit slash etc. The city asks that you contact them beforehand so they can send someone out to stake for gas slash electric lines. But it's not required. It's nice that, after you kill someone, you at least don't get charged with illegal burying. Suicide bombers can be easily identified after blowing themselves up, since the pressure from the explosion fractures the neck and sends the head flying away to safety from the explosion. I'm assuming safety is a relative term in this case, you will think. But there's actually a jet away terrorist, usually a former cricketer, who is positioned to catch it. If all goes to plan the bomber becomes the head of the organization. What a way to get ahead in life. Being steamed alive allows the victim to feel nearly everything because your nerves don't get destroyed as fast as being burned alive. 
and it's healthier because it preserves the nutrients. Pro tip, leave the peel on before steaming. How to sound like a psycho 101, call human skin the peel. Note to self, the next time when talking about steaming humans alive, refer to the peel as skin to not sound weird. Thanks fellow human. If you spill bleach on your skin, the slippery feeling you feel when you wash it off is because you have basically made soap by dissolving the top layer of skin. This one made me feel the worst because I've experienced it. Same. Had the lid of a backpack sprayer come off while I was bending over to pick something up and it was full of a bleach mixture I was using to clean a house. Had a huge burn on my back for quite a while because of that. Michael Jackson's hair caught on fire at the exact median day of his life. He had a literal midlife crisis. It probably also led to his death. It was such an excruciating accident, and it being the 80s, he got hooked on some really heavy painkillers. A lot of people think the accident is what lead him to his really bad drug problem. Or at least that's what I remember. It's surely a combination of that, and massive childhood trauma at the hands of an abusive father. Pretty gnarly. Combined with using meds to keep on performing amazing shows, and taking more supplements instead of eating food. Cuttlefish mating is fascinating. The females all hunker down, while the big males fight each other for a chance to copulate. While the big tough males are duking it out. Small males will kind of pull in their tentacles to look like females. Sneak past the fighting males. And mate with the females. Interestingly, female cuttlefish have some control over which sperm makes it to the eggs. And overwhelmingly choose the cunning small male sperm over the big brawny males who come in to mate after finishing fighting. Brains over brawn. I got a freaky fish fact. Two. A couple in fact. One is that anglerfish males are vastly smaller than their female counterparts. And how they mate is the males attach their mouths to the body of a female fish and fuse with the female literally. The other is that the ability the puffer fish is most well known for is actually hazardous to its own health as it's possible it might die while deflating. If I remember correctly only certain species of anglerfish will do that. Locked in syndrome is a scary condition where you are conscious while in a coma. My mom developed this after a stroke in 2020. She could blink once for yes and twice for no, but wasn't truly aware of herself or her surroundings. So we ended up taking her off the machines and letting her pass comfortably. I'm sorry for your loss. A few days ago somebody told me that Swiss cheese and plastic explosives look the same under its radar. They don't like when you pack your wristwatch. Why dear buds? And block of cheese altogether. Getting put on a watch list and the no fly list speedrun. They're actually pretty understanding. A person I was flying with once had a loaf of pound bread packed with their headphones on an American domestic flight. It was rather intimidating when they pulled the whole party for questioning. But once they saw what it was we were free to go. We aren't on a watch list either. I think. Because some of us have since gotten Tsaprichek and that international thing. Where it's basically Tsaprichek. But FBI pre-check. Inject enough potassium under the tongue. It will look like a heart attack on an autopsy. Not to mention the injection site will heal. Most toxicologists don't check for potassium levels either. I went to the ER because my body was locking up thinking I was having a stroke or something. Turns out I was dangerously low on potassium. Doctor told me it's going to take 2 hours to pump me full of potassium. I asked why. He said because if we do it too fast it will kill you. Sorry kind of off topic the relevancy is that potassium will kill you if too much is injected. Do you drink a lot per chance? Yes I know that's the reason. I was a college student getting s faced most weekends. I rarely drink anymore. And when I do drink I always take a potassium supplement now lol. Ran into the exact same issue. Fucking collapsed with heart palpitations and went to the air thinking I was having a stroke or heart attack turns out I just was extremely dehydrated with low potassium. A cow is more aerodynamic than a jeep wrangler. If I recall correctly the scientific study that proved this one an ignoble prize. If you curl your toes, your gag reflex will sort of minimize. I've heard squeezing your thumb has the same effect. This would make a lot of PPL hate the dentist less. In 1985 a Serbian farmer stuck a beer bottle up his ass. Broadside first. This sparked a chain of events that eventually lead to the collapse of Yugoslavia. 
the prolapse of Yugoslavia. Donald Duck's middle name is Fauntleroy. Mickey's full name is Michiel Theodore Mouse. Being skinned alive doesn't kill nearly as quickly as you'd think. When done carefully the victim may not die of blood loss or shock, but rather hypothermia. Some account record that people have survived for several days edit. Bonus fact. Couldn't remember it earlier, but supposedly Saint Bartholomew was skinned alive for converting a king to Christianity. He is often depicted with exposed musculature and carrying his own severed skin. He is also the patron saint of many different things such as butchers, leather workers, tanners, and dermatology. Why do you know that? Trial and error. I wish I had an award to give you. Edit. You people are awesome. Handled. And one for you as well. Edit. Someone else also gave you one. Just for you thinking about doing something nice for someone. Lee Harvey Oswald had straight pubic hair. Edit. Here's why I know. It's in the Warren Commission hearings. If you scroll about two-fifths of the way through this testimony, you can read all about it. Alright. Man. How did you come across this information? First hand. Left. Or right. Or a beasting to the pee can enlarge it permanently. Is it stackable? Only if it swells up like a hexagon. Otherwise it is merely packable. You can't explode C4 by shooting it. Or by lighting it on fire. But you can by lighting it on fire. And then shooting it. Actually if it's on fire. You could hit it with a hammer and explode it. Though only once for obvious reasons. A sharp enough sword can decapitate with no pain. Sort of like how razors sometimes cut you and you don't notice until it's bleeding and then it starts hurting. But in this case you would be dead before your brain catches up. On the topic of decapitation, it's common for people to have time to make weird expressions between the time they lose their head and the part where they actually die. For this reason it was a common practice for most of human history for people to grab the newly debodied head and show it its own decapitated corpse to see if it would react. The things people did before memes. If I was decapitated. I'd like to take a look at my body sure. Why not? Final thoughts so that's what I look like. Damn. That's a hot piece of ass. Right there. Damn. My tell it to be glow in the dark but plug looks fire at this angle. It would take a lot of blood. But you could dehydrate blood. Smell the blood dust. And make blood iron. And make a sword with it. It would take roughly 100 people to make a regular sized iron sword. Time to get to work. I saw on another reddit post on r slash the did them if I think that it's 400 humans. They did the math to support the claim. Apparently if you have a perfect conversion of iron you could do only 100 people. I wonder how much blood expires at a blood bank each month slash year. I saw acetate. It's the chemical that gives bananas their smell. It's also the chemical bees secrete to indicate aggression. So if there were enough pissed off bees in one area, and you happened to be close to them, you'd smell bananas just before you died. We have kept bees, and have always been told not to eat a banana before opening up the hive. Now I know why. Because you could slip on the peel and injure yourself. If you stick a vibrating device on your forehead, and look at a digital clock, the numbers will be all scrambled. I used a back massager. Sure you did. Sharks are older than trees and the rings of Saturn by about 100 million years and 350 million years respectively. Also Saturn's rings are not really that old. In the grand scheme of things anyway. You hear that you creepy astronomer fucks. Stop fucking staring at Saturn's rings. They are too young. In the grand scheme of things. Even the earth is very young. Creepy fucks on our slash earth porn. It's all good the Milky Way age of consent is 4 billion years. Typically when you do CPR on people you break their bones and cartilage. Most states, at least in the US, have what are called good Samaritan laws that deal with this. Basically, if you do CPR on someone and you break their ribs, they can't sue you for breaking their ribs. Yes, I know that. Unfortunately, most people do not. I'm not a civilian though. I'm a firefighter and a paramedic. So, that law unfortunately does not apply to me. I wish more people knew about that law though, because even if you were a normal civilian and saw that someone needed CPR, and let's just say you haven't done CPR in a very long time and you're doing shitty shitty CPR is better than no CPR at all, and we've been teaching people that for a very long time. 
I did a civilian first aid course once, and they qualified us on a need. Then they said that. Now we were qualified. We couldn't use, and did unless the qualification was kept up every couple of years. But any random person on the street can just use one. I would still use an ED if it came up. If an aircraft is too big that you can't cover it with your thumb, with your arm stretched out, then it's close enough you can shoot it down with rifle fire. I see hunting season during the holidays just got more enjoyable. There is a certain amount of body fat that it takes to stop a bullet and it's about 60 centimeters of body fat. Pretty sure the bullet is less dangerous than the weight at that point. You're just mad he evolved into growing a bulletproof vest. No wonder Americans are so fat. Yup. Evolution this is peak human form. So fat I can't even reach my gun. But in bulletproof. America. Pine trees scatter the hell out of GPS signals. It's obscure and no one would ever notice unless they had ever tried to get a fixed position under a bunch of pine trees. So do your surveyor a favor and never plant a pine tree near your property corners. Avoid Georgia. The U. S. State. I do because I can never find it. Damn GPS gets all screwed up. The Chernobyl meltdown happened at 1 hour, 23 minutes and 45 seconds am. That's the same combination I have on my luggage. Edit. Thank you kind redditor for my first silver. May the Schwartz be with you. Merchandising. The Guinness Book of World Records was created to settle bar bits. And Michelin stars were created to get people to drive to restaurants. But Dove Soap and Ove Chocolate are unrelated brands. Opossums are marsupials that have 13 nipples. 12 arranged in a circle with one in the center. Had to look it up. Also found out that opossum mothers sometimes give birth to more than 13 offspring at a time. Up to 20. So if one of them doesn't latch onto a nipple in time, it will not survive. The offspring that do make it to a nipple will stay latched on for 6 weeks. I now know more about opossums than I ever wished. Whenever TV networks show previous Olympic cauldron lightings, they always skip the 1988 Seoul Olympics one. The reason? They lit the cauldron by burning a bunch of doves alive. Minutes after they were released to symbolize world peace. And it was all aired on live TV. Worldwide. I remember the Seoul Olympics as being full of problems and controversies. One thing I saw happen live was in the boxing competition. They tried to have two fights at once with two boxing rings right next to each other. When the bell rang to end the round in one ring. A boxer in the other ring thought his round was over. So he dropped his hands and turned to walk back to his corner. His opponent got a free swing at him and knocked him out cold. And that's only the second biggest boxing controversy from that Olympics. Roy Jones Jr. still has refused his silver medal to this day. Mine is that I know the average pH of vaginal discharge, semen, and stomach acid off by heart. 3, 8 to 4, 5, 7, 2 to 8, 0, and 1, 5 to 3, 5 respectively. Jiggity. Breast implants can't be cremated. If you have breast implants and you want to be cremated, the mortician will have to cut them out of you before cremating you. Incorrect. You can cremate someone with breast implants. They just tend to melt into a nasty goo that needs to be scraped up. You can't cremate battery operated implants like pacemakers and defibrillators because they can explode and damage the retort. Cremation chamber. Source. I'm funeral director. Brain surgery is done while you are awake and is only possible as the brain itself does not have any pain receptors. I sent that to make sure they haven't damaged the brain in any way. Reminds me of poor Rosemary Kennedy, the sister they did a lobotomy on, and realized they fucked it when she went from talking normally to total gobbledygook. That was the standard method for knowing if the procedure worked. They'd have the patient say their ABCs or sing a nursery rhyme and destroy prefrontal love until they started fucking it up. Then stop. Bees dicks explode after coming duck sticks are twisted like a corkscrew whale dicks may have been what old tales of tentacled sea monsters were inspired by tortoises dicks are spiked barnacles have dicks that are 8 times longer than their body length edit. Why is my most upvoted comment about animal dicks? You are certainly very up studied in a specific area. What's your area of expertise? The genital area. When you cut or break open a human skull. 
It smells oddly familiar like a bag of fritters. You didn't say allegedly have you done this? Yes. He has opened a bag of fritters. If a chicken eats the yolk in a chicken egg it becomes addicted to it. I got another one which is creepier. There was an attack in WW1 where the Germans gassed a bunch of Russian troops in Osawik Fortress. The gas mixed with the water in the air in the lungs. So the troops didn't die of suffocation. They died because they were basically being melted alive. When the German troops rushed the castle. Only 100 Russian troops were alive and all of them were basically walking dead. This freaked the German troops out and they ran. A lot of the Germans died to their own traps while retreating. Sabaton had a banger about that second one on the war to end all wars. The attack of the dead men can highly recommend edit, but it's on the great war, not the war to end all wars. In the 1960s or 70s, the Swiss Air Force dropped severed chicken heads all over the forests of Switzerland. The chicken heads contained the rabies vaccine. And the airdrop was to vaccinate wild foxes against rabies. Falling coconuts kill more people than sharks. Well, to be fair, sharks probably don't spend as much time hanging around underneath palm trees. Death by hanging works by basically causing an internal decapitation, snapping the spine. This is why gallows drop the condemned through a hole the drop in the weight of your own body causes your neck to snap once the rope goes taut. Death in this case is instantaneous. If you try to commit suicide by hanging and don't drop yourself from a height in so doing, you will not die instantly. Because you won't internally decapitate, you will slowly and painfully choke to death. Edit, the responses to this comment talking about rope lengths and the various technical sundry of a proper hanging, are hysterical and morbid. Thanks Reddit. There is also an equation for hanging people, that takes into account the length of the drop versus body weight, so as to snap the neck, without strangling, or ripping the head off. From what I remember, Saddam's brother was hung, and they didn't take this equation into account, and him being quite obese, made for a doozy of a spectacle, found this on the web, Horton used the following formula, known as the standard drop method, length of drop in feet equals 2240 slash weight of the body in pounds. Horton noted that when this force was applied, the condemned was taller by 1, 5 and following the hanging. The glaciers wiped out earthworms in most of North America. Basically, in most cases, you are seeing an invasive species, if you see an earthworm in North America and some do ecological damage. It takes approximately 2 days, to dissolve someone with acid. Apparently it's better to do it with a strong base. Just shave them. Pull out their teeth. Cut them into 6 pieces and feed them to pigs. Hence the expression, as greedy as a pig. When Aerosmith was recording toys in the attic, they took a break and went to see young Frankenstein. In the movie, Marty Feldman has the line, walk this way, no this way. That is where they got the title for a song they hadn't written lyrics for yet. I hate this so much that I looked it up. And you're fucking right. Fuck. Now I know this fact and may accidentally share it one day. Regarding Tabnit's sarcophagus, in 1887, a minister from the US discovered a sarcophagus that is considered to be one of the most fascinating artifacts of the enigmatic Phoenician culture. Dated to the 5th century BC, the sarcophagus held Tabnit, a priest of Astart and ruler of Sidon. The coffin contained an oily, brown liquid, embalming fluid, which almost perfectly preserved Tabnit's remains. This guy really discovered a sarcophagus with a nearly perfectly preserved body in it, and dumped the fluid on the floor, and left the body, to rot in the desert sun. Wow. I want to fucking strangle him. If you're attempting to slit a throat you don't drag the blade across the neck, cutting the external carotids will take too long, you're supposed to stab through the neck from the side, and jud the blade forward. Doing so will sever a much larger number of blood vessels, and cause quicker exsanguination. Human meat is often reported to be very similar to pork. Have gotten several concerned stares with this one. Oh. As an extra to that. Technically the consumption of human flesh itself is not considered illegal in the US. In fact if the meat comes from someone still alive after it's removed, and consents to it, you're perfectly in the clear legality wise. You only run into trouble if the person died removing it and or didn't consent to it. So it's not a crime if you have permission. Okay. Why do you know that? 
If pigs are hungry enough they'll consume a human body bones and all. But once they get the taste of human flesh they'll crave it over other food. You're always gonna have problems lifting a body in one piece. Apparently the best thing to do is cut up a corpse into six pieces and pile it all together. And when you got your six pieces, you gotta get rid of them. Because it's no good leaving it in the deep freeze for your mum to discover. Now is it? Then I hear the best thing to do is feed them to pigs. You got to starve the pigs for a few days. Then the sight of a chopped up body will look like curry to a puss head. You gotta shave the heads of your victims and pull the teeth out for the sake of the pig's digestion. You could do this afterwards, of course. But you don't want to go even through pig shit. Now do you? They will go through bone like butter. You need at least 16 pigs to finish the job in one sitting. So be wary of any man who keeps a pig farm. They will go through a body that weighs 200 pounds in about 8 minutes. That means that a single pig can consume 2 pounds of uncooked flesh every minute. Hence the expression. As greedy as a pig. Apostrophe. Brick top. Is that you? The first yellow Power Ranger, Fu I Trang, died in a car accident in 2001, and she wasn't wearing a seatbelt. This is so sad. Charcoal is really great at absorbing bad smells. Someone complained of a bad smell. I recommended placing them near to the smell source. Was told I seem like a murderer for knowing that. Seeing how rude they were I didn't tell them how to remove blood stains and how to get rid of bodies. There is a direct correlation to amount of ice cream consumed in an area and drowning deaths. This is not causation but warm weather people eat more ice cream and more people swim to cool off. I've heard something similar. There is a direct correlation between murder rates and ice cream consumption attributed also to the high temperatures. People are more easily angered in high heat. Ecuador has the longest average pea size. Coriolis effect. Those that live on the equator are experiencing the highest speed of earth through space as it rotates. Thus having centrifugal force suck their dicks into the above average category. Crazy how nature do that. Maybe it isn't a fact, but as people age they stick to dressing like the last time they felt relevant and comfortable or stylish as the time styles outpace their ability or want to keep up. You can gauge an older person's decade of confidence by little things like glasses frames. Shirt designs and such you'll be 75 still wearing a Yankees cap, white t-shirt, black pants and vans or at least something that sort of mirrors, or progressed out of that stack it how I know that, but think about it, and try it in public. This explains why I still dress, like I'm 10 years old. An interesting torture method from what I can remember, is to force feed someone raw uncooked rice. After that you force them to drink tons of water that way the rice will expand in the stomach and cause massive pain. I know someone whose dog ate a lot of it. Raw. So they phoned the vet and they said he'd be fine, but to hide the water. The answer is always insomnia. Couldn't sleep decided to look up random mess on Google. I asked for the facts. Also same bro. Same. It's currently 4am and the birds are singing outside my window. The best protection against cannibals is lots of tattoos. Or be a clown, because they taste funny. <laughs> Women have larger broker's areas in their brains than men. So if a female has a left MCA stroke she is more likely to retain speech than a male having a stroke in the same region. I'm a medical student, and learned this during a hands-on autopsy lab with a neuropathologist. The width of railroad tracks in Western Europe and the US is two horses ass is white. THR Romans created a lot of roads in Europe, and over time, carts and chariots, pulled by two horses or oxen, would wear ruts in the road. Later, when railroads were being built, the builders followed the ancient roads, because it made their job of leveling and clearing land easier, since there were two evenly spaced ruts extending thousands of miles in these roads. They used them to lay the first railroad tracks. This distance then became standard. And America followed the Western European standard. In other parts of the world, where the Roman Empire wasn't present, they have a different standard. Bonus fact, some of the original equipment sent into space had to be transported by train. This meant that they had a maximum width of the train car it traveled on. That means some of the items that went to space were designed the way they were. In a roundabout way. Because of two horses asses. This is a classic engineering fun fact. Where design requirements are derived are awesome.
for each one. You have to wonder what happened to make that a thing. If you start eating people then you should eat Japanese people, because apparently they taste the best. Fucking what? Cannibals prefer Japanese people. How was this information obtained? Interviews with a cannibal on death row said that out of all the people he ate, that Japanese people tasted the best. This won't be seen by anyone but I need to comment this. The fart limit. 99% of what you fart doesn't smell. It's the 1% that causes problems. Hydrogen sulfide. There's only 1 ppm of that stuff in your, but at any given fart. So you're probably thinking so, if there's more of that in my gas blasts they'll smell worse? Actually no. I mean that's true to some extent. But here's where the fart limit comes in. If your farts were 30x stronger in stench they wouldn't even smell farty anymore. They'd smell sweet. Sickeningly sweet. If your farts were 100x stronger though they would smell like nothing. If someone smelled that fart they'd experience olfactory paralysis. In theory, if your farts were stinkingly powerful enough, you could literally kill someone with a fart. Silent, but deadly. Thank you source. The longest consecutive S ever recorded has been 24 feet long. If you're correctly doing chest compressions, you will hear or more likely feel a human sternum or ribs crack slash break. You will be thankful for it in that moment. Dead men can ejaculate. And yet they can't tell tales. Strange choice and skill set for the dead. One that you can make cyanide with 150, 200 cherries hydrogen peroxide and an afternoon to a strong base works better than a strong acid for dissolving a body. 3 they used to make whips out of vertebra by feeding horse hair through them and layering the vertebra facing opposite directions to make a serrated edge 4 that the mans used to eat their dead enemies as to not waste their meat 5 that the author of Frankenstein Mary Shelley lost her virginity on top of her mother's grave. Number 2 is something any chemist should know. But it's surprising most people do not. The worst burn I got in the lab was from a pellet of nao that lodged between the inside of my shoe and my sock. When I felt it, it was too late. It's also why we kept squeeze bottles of muriatic, dilute HCl, by the sink. Rinse like hell. Then hit with muriatic. The neutralization reaction hurt. But stop the burn. Edit. Do not follow my advice. I am an idiot read the comments below, I thought the best way to stop acid slash base burn would be just to run enough water to dilute it, having diluted acid on an open wound sounds like hell, yay, but it's way faster, with water you're just diluting it, and HCl will neutralize the nao, 